Hello everybody, welcome to the brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron for Kaiserreich. You know, it's been about two and a half weeks since we've actually done any Kaiserreich content. After the release of By Blood Alone, we went into vanilla a little bit. I'm actually excited to get back into a little bit of Kaiserreich here. Uh, so of course we are playing on the old version, because Kaiserreich is not actually updated for... Uh, version 1.12, so we're not playing by Blood Alone, but by Blood uh, Alone mechanics are not in Kaiserreich yet. Hopefully they'll be in there soon, but it's, it's kind of hard to say when they'll actually uh, put into the game. But today we're going to be playing as uh, Flanders Wallonia, and we're just going to be doing a, a, a standard pro-Germany run after we tried and failed to do one uh, as Ukraine. I think it makes sense to try to do one here as Flanders Wallonia. Because we haven't, we haven't done Flanders Wallonia before. We've done... What we have here? We, we've done Belgium. We, we, we did Pro Entente Belgium. But we haven't done actually just like standard Flanders Wallonia. So we'll go production with you. Construction. Get my research speed. A civilian. We're currently at 21. You know what? Actually, a 6114 is fair. It is pretty good. You do take a negative 30% on you. But there's something I want more than a factory, so we'll go with this anyways. Um, put one more on rifles. We can currently have up to 16 divisions. We got five in the field. And status report location of Flanders Wallonia. Located on the western border of the German Empire and border in the commune of France, Flanders Wallonia has a very strategic but vulnerable position. At the vanguard of the west against the city of menace, we are supposed to stop their advance on the bunkers of the Ludendorff line and push together with our German allies in the French heartland. To the east of the German behemoth watches us closely, but it will prove to be a difficult enemy should the need arise. North of us lies the Netherlands, neutral in the Wildkrieg. Our former masters don't seem much of a threat, with their ill-equipped army in friendly relation. Occupation and major battles in the first Wildkrieg have clearly marked our country and hefty reparations and general dismantlement of our industry based uh, imposed upon us has left us weak. It was once the eighth greatest industrial power in the world has been greatly humbled. Still, our people are sturdy and uh, managed to rebuild our industrial might to a level approaching its former extent. However, as such, as much of our industry is hopelessly reliant on German investment, there remains a great deal of work to be done. In order to reinvigorate the economy, the Albert Canal was dug post-war to connect the major harbor of Antwerp with the steel industries of Liège. Coal mining has been greatly expanded in the province of Limburg, further stimulating uh, the steel industry, while the Flemish provinces have steadily developed their own industry base to partially replace the old reliance on the agricultural countryside. And even though our country is a constitutional monarchy on paper, parliamentary control over the government is uh, severely hampered. Moreover, political parties can only be, have legal status and participate in elections if they accept the post field Creek status quo as it holds an older monarchy, membership of the Reichs Pact, and other national indignities. This limitation makes legal opposition parties stunted and ineffective, Government is advised by the Flemish Council, which consists mainly members of the higher class, most of whom support the king and execute his decision with limited practical power veto. There are two major opposition groups that seek to contest the current status quo, and as a result have been forced underground. First, we have the Royal Catholic Party, who seeks to restore Belgium and its rightful king, Albert I, currently in exile in Canada. The other large group is the Syndicalist Party, which seeks to uh, improve working conditions and create a social regime like that that exists in the Commune of France. Both these groups have stronger ties to the Wallonia region with the creation of frictions. The Catholic Party is also, however, widely accepted in the Grain region of Flanders, still strongly holds on to the Catholic faith. Uh, we will get our Army and Navy experience. Prepare the World's Fair. We can do that uh, in 1938. That could be fun. Turn off the rest of you. 40% stability, 0% war support. We don't really need good war support as... Um, at least not right now. Of course, we are still fairly early in. I mean, it's like the 5th of December. Or 5th of January, I should say. Oh, yeah. Anna's Flanders Wallonia. We actually have voting rights on the... Um, on the council. In the, in the legation cities. At least I thought we did. I don't see it actually listed in here. Strikes at his older mines. Miners and works in the nearby industrial zone have laid down their equipment in protest against the inhumane conditions that are regularly being exposed to. To fulfill the quotas imposed by the regional industrial head, many of the works have been forced to work seven days a week, some for over 12 hours a day, or risk losing their jobs. The cooperative of the Zolder has decided to take action and has prepared a large strike to fight against their conditions and has sworn to uphold the strike until their terms are met. 
Then in the Vite. So send in the army. Or make some empty promises of, uh, about helping a cooperative. I mean, either way, let, let's do some empty promises. We're not gonna we're not gonna give these cynicalists anything. We could train some more units. Do we have any guns? I mean, technically. Even you have an anti-tank in you? What the hell? You actually you also have you also have light tanks. What is going on with the uh, with the Flanders Wallonian military here? On the 22nd of January 1935, the country was devastated by the killing of Albert Pott and Tropen Group, two, uh, two prominent members of the Antwerp Union, by affiliates of a German shipping company. This resulted in a nationwide strike organized by the BWP, the local cooperatives, and the unions uh, to force the government into signing a law ensuring the better working conditions and the introduction of a 40 hour work week. The government, however, has decided to fight back against the strike with forcing the six casualties in the Ghent Harbor and imprisonment of over 300 union members in the following weeks. Ultimately, the strike was lifted as organization members were locked up or threatened into submission. Today, the cooperative of Ghent has requested the mayor of the city allow them to organize a small ceremony in St. Philip's Cathedral, commemorating the sacrifice of their members. Yeah, let's just forget it. We don't need to look at our past. We only need to look at our future. And you know, the miners, they had it coming. 100% they had it coming. I would like to get more military units, but I mean, we just we just can't afford it, which is a, which is sad. African investments. While well, we lost our African holdings in the field Krieg, still operate a large informal uh, economic empire in Germany's African territories. Oh, excellent! Thank you. Negative five percent consumer goods. Black Monday is hit. How how bad is is our Black Monday? Okay, not great. On the 2nd of February, the true stock market crashed, resulting in an economic crisis like never before. Flanders Wallonia, already weakened by the reparation and reconstruction of its country, has been hit very hard. Hundreds have left the Brussels Stock Exchange crying and screaming. Drastic action will be required to save the struggling people of Flanders Wallonia. Yes, we'll finish you up, and then we need to, uh... Where is Black Monday? Run on the banks! With stock, uh, with stock plummeting on the Brussels Stock Exchange, thousands of citizens are flocking to the banks, trying to withdraw as much cash as possible. The side of general in Brussels is panicking as they see their cash reserves quickly dwindle, urging the king to take action for riots erupting the streets. While paying out to the citizens was a guarantee of stability in the short term, it also come at a tremendous cost to the government. Close the banks, or let the fools withdraw their cash. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna let them withdraw their cash. I'm trying to remember what we had to do to, in order to get the revolution to happen. I'm pretty sure it was just like make everything terrible. Bad investments, plumbing stocks, and their support of the friendly banks all conspired to quickly bring the midden crudix down to the brutal liquidity collapse. As the financial branch of the Bordabond, the farmer representative body is that boomed in influence at the Ville Creek due to German reliance in the Middle European crops, thousands of farmers who had invested in their capital in the organization now stand with empty pockets. Thousands of men left virtually penniless in the period over the increasing stability and financial insecurity. Now the Parliament had proposed the creation of the CKL, or the Central Kosvur, uh, to support the troubled farmers by promising to provide generous subsidies to the agricultural sector upon economic recovery. While this would be a tremendous burden on the AVV and the ABB, it would greatly help the image of Albert and the pro-German regime. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna have like no political power. But we will still have our government, which probably works out better for us. On the 17th of February, which marks the day of that Albert I was crowned as King of Belgium and took control of the country, has finally uh has been annually marked by celebration in the capital. Military praise and fanfares announced the straight out celebrations, and at 12 o'clock, Albert mounted the balcony of the palace watching over the Wanderer. As he addressed the population and celebrated another peaceful year, a loud bang resonated against the stone walls of the palace. In the midst of, a, in the, midst of the crowd, a group of rebels that fired the gun in the direction of the king. It shouted Viva la Revolution and Wet Man de Mof. Those of the men and women started to uh, place a tactical location in the crowd by the combined resistance, started rallying the people and prepared to storm the palace. Police quickly mobilized and formed a protective circle around the palace. And though the uh, and though the crowd dispersed into the surrounding streets, revolt quickly became too large for local police to handle. Let's send in the military. 
We're gonna do. We're also gonna do a, a quick little save just to make sure we're not uh having any issues here. Despite the crisis of CKL, to pay back the farmers, uh, the other financial branch of the Born and Bond has suffered greatly. The AVV, or Buy and Sell Society, responsible for supporting farmers and buying farm equipment and supplies in bulk, was forced to close its doors uh, of its stores after thousands of farmers swarmed them to secure their unsecure future. Or their unsure future. Gave them a bailout. We're at negative 400 political power, but that's okay. We're going to do an... Ah, eh, we're not going to save quite yet. The only deployed against the Riders. The closest division was quickly mobilized and used to suppress the Riders. The Riders, however, enraged by the heavy weaponry, became even more violent and attacked the palace defenses. The army was finally able to suppress the Riders by opening fire. 106 Riders would find their death in the same day, and hundreds more were arrested in the following days. We seem to be temporarily regaining control, but strong measures will have to be implemented to prevent another disaster. Excellent. Very cool. Um, I'm sure nothing bad will happen here. And then you last until 36. Okay, we're no longer getting the effects of the Belgian Revolution. That's good. That's good. Japanese troops are scared. And, uh, okay, we don't care about that too much. I got, I got bigger fish to fry. The largest corporation in Flanders, Wallonia, and created by the Dutch in 1815, the Society General has been the driving power behind much of the rapid industrialization and colonial expansion of the 19th century. As a loss of the Congo and the start of the German occupation, its power fell precipitously until even today they are still the most important economic institution in our country, dominating nearly 40% of the industrial sector. To whether the storm caused by Black Monday, several members of the Liberal Party are suggesting that we uh, hive off the unprofitable branches and salvage what we can. The general bank would be sold off as a separate subsidy of the making organization and would handle the bank's affairs independent of interference by the SGB. Let's do an independent bank. Maybe that'll be good for us. Maybe. It's, it's, a, it's a big maybe, okay? We have three days on you. So you are our Black Monday focus. So, yeah, we'll get our upgrade here. One civilian factory. Synthetic. Synthetic. I guess, but if we don't take this, we don't get access to you. And actually, that's completely fine. But again, if we, did, if we took this one, we wouldn't get access to steel mills. Yeah, no, you're, you, these were way better. In an effort to stop the catastrophe impact that Black Money is having on the flush loan banks, the government has proposed the creation of a banking commission to oversee the crisis recovery and stop the economy from imploding. While this is guaranteed to be opposed by the German bank managers, see this as uh, an effort by the Flanders Loan government to diminish their influence, desperate uh, times call for drastic measures. I think this is going to be another instance where I do want to save. Yes, yeah, so we're going to pass the bill. But we're, we're still, like me, Germany, me and you, we're, we're still on, we're still on the same wavelength, okay? I'm not trying to dismantle German influence in Flan or in Brussels. I want a strong German support in, in our great city of Brussels. But, you know, we, we need to do what we need to do. I have negative 372 political power, which is pretty fucking bad. Got a flame in his session. We'll better research on you next. Due to rising tension in the industrial city of Antwerp, a new resistance movement has been detected by our intelligence service. They have called uh they are called the Gusenkorp and seem to have gathered a lot of support around the harbor area, rallying the populace behind their cause. They seem to work mostly on the ground though, and as such, there seems to be no more intel about either of their members or their leader. I could create, you know what, let's create an agency. Just while we're, while we're here, right? And it's not like, I mean, you're taking, like, heavy penalties, so. Export arms to Venezuela. I can't, I can't afford that, right? 
How many how many guns do we have in our storage? Five hundred. We don't even have a thousand guns. Yeah, you know what? Let let's stimulate the economy. Sell guns to Venezuela. That should be more than okay. I don't think I don't think we have anything to worry about there. Okay, but they've been covered. During the routine patrol by our Antwerp Harbor Defense Force, they uh, uncovered a group of five men trying to infiltrate the Hassa dock. Quick action by our troops meant that they were able to capture the group, killing one man and disarming the rest. They carried small pistols designed for the Vimeous Walk and have seemed to uh, have intended to sabotage the harbor trains, which would have disrupted vital shipping lanes to the German Empire. Upon further investigation, three of the four men have been discovered to be officers of the police, thus invoking the question of whether we can trust our own police forces. The Ministry of Defense has responded forcefully to this implication, saying only uh, that a full overhaul of the selection and training program of the police can prevent more trouble. Others, however, believe this might be going too far. How should we respond to the situation? Well, I mean, that's a good, good question. Give me a little save game on this one again. Complete overhaul. I don't need political power. I need results. And if I can't get results, then, I mean, what good is my, what, what good is, what good are any of you? You're, you're not, you're not good at all. You're, you're useless. Due to the recent in, uh, increase in Barack on chance and close uh, internal investigation into our police forces, we've been able to capture more than 300 members of the Guzen group, thus greatly distributing their capacity to damage our regime. King Albert himself has personally awarded the commander of the Vice Vok, with a medal awarding his loyalty and dedication to defeating the enemies of Flanders Wallonia. Hey, let me get some stability out of this. So I'm more than happy with that. So we need to get all of these done in order to replace Black Monday. As the first of May approaches, the leftist underground movements are preparing for a large demonstration of the resolve and passion for the syndicalist cause. Throughout the entire Cilion Industrial, workers will down their tools in order to celebrate the Syndicalist holiday. Just like last year, the date will be accompanied by marches through the cities of Namur and Liège, publicly chanting the Internationale and engaging in other activ activities forbidden by the government. Well, we could just let the marches go ahead peacefully, showing that uh, those who do ha Okay. Showing those who have not yet joined the movement that we can tolerate of dissent, our German commanders have expressed their desire to act with a heavy force, destroying the such movement one large a sweep. Okay, again, ah, no, 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 no. We're not gonna, we're not gonna save here. Only act when required. I'm not gonna go. We we already killed 106 people earlier this year. Having another disaster of that caliber probably would, would be best avoided. Okay, we got the S uh, S G R S. So much. I just want political power, man. It's just a way for thin, thin slice of political power. Can agents in 20 days? I guess he'll mostly just... I know, I was gonna say, kind of like spy for us. Well, here's the thing. Can you even remove Black Monday? No, so if you do this, hold the sixth Congress. Can you never get rid of Black Monday then? Like maybe not. I don't know. This is an it's like oh you're a bunch of nerds. You're stuck with a shitty economy. Okay, research. We'll go with construction here. We have always have 100 research bonus towards it, so I'm always uh happy to see it. It's just amazing that we're making all this like weird shit. Okay, Baltic Dutch is collapsed. I mean, that's not so bad. Strikes in Ghent. After a heavy repression in February, which involved dispersing protests in the capital brute force, many of the smaller actions throughout the country dissipated, fearful of more bloodshed. However, to show the government that they might not that they have not managed to completely exceed the flame of resistance, over 30,000 farmers and workers from across Ghent province have entered the city and amassed in King William Square and the surrounding park. The Gathered Assembly has been protesting uh, heavily against the violent action taken by the Flemish colonial regime and the recent reforms undertaken by the Flemish against the Flemish Council. The local VS Vok is keeping a close eye on the protests to ensure the escalation in Brussels is prevented. They have a right to protest. 
They haven't done anything yet. But I will res I don't I know that case doesn't actually do anything, right? Just counter just do some counterintelligence here for now. One thing we do have to worry about is the Dutch though. Because if the Dutch go cynicalist in this campaign, we do have something we do we actually do need to worry about that. Because the cynicalist Dutch are actually pretty scary. Just because the German AI can't really handle it very well, and they just get like mashed. So if we can avoid that, I would be thrilled. Also, what does it say? Wait. Taking this pass will hinder our technological capacities, but guarantee an easy recovery to Black Monday. I mean, most of this sucks. Like, all, all this area here is kind of ass. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the way we're going with it. Okay, so we've got basic cynicalist uh, Italy. I know Brin's gone totalist. France, of course, is also just... Just a generic cynicalist. Nothing too surprising there. I guess we might as well also be... Getting a basic invasion plan into France going. But, like, how how's the rest of the world doing? Again, it's still only mid-36. So nothing too crazy has probably happened. You know what? Mexico joining the Entente, that actually is a... Uh, it is pretty substantial. The 11th of July. The 11th of July, 1302, will always be remembered as the date of a great victory over the French army by the Golden Sorpeslag. On that day, an inferior Flemish army, supported by troops in Namir, uh, defeated the far superior French knights. This victory marked an important point for the creation of an independent Flemish movement and has been immortalized in, uh, in uh, the... Okay. Independent movement and has been immortalized in the Roman by the Louis van Vidalin, Vidalin, by Heinrich Conscience. As many see our current national situation dire back then, support for the movement is at an all-time high. Give him another strike. I, I don't have much choice in the matter. But I do think uh, with another strike in uh, Flanders Wallonia, this is going to be a good time for us to end this uh, first episode here. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Antwam. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to enjoy some down. You want to see more subscribe and goodbye.